Today we're going to go on an Elver server and we're going to do non-stop PvP against many insanely looted players, groups, raiding rich bases and getting the richest on the server. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 200 likes. You guys are reaching the like goals in every video and I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos. In the last video I announced a mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize, please join my Discord which will be in the description below and contact me over there. Today we're going to run another one which is a Soul Shattered Frost Shot Calling card which was kindly donated by Desmond. To win this mythical make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below. Chair members also have a higher chance of winning and there's a 10 mythical giveaway happening as well. The link will be in the description below. Before we dive into the video, I want to introduce you to today's sponsor. Are you trying to start your own answer network, whether it's for survival, roleplay or you just want to play with your friends? Then look no further than Pine Hosting. With Pine Hosting, you can set up your servers quite easily and they have also quite high performance servers and the interface is very easy to learn. When I first started hosting servers and unturned, I had no idea how to do anything. But with Pine Hosting's navigation, I did learn the basics in a very short time. They have server locations scattered across the world and pricing is also very cheap. Pine Hosting also caters to a lot of different games that includes Rust, Ark and Minecraft. One feature is the ability that you can install plugins and mods just by clicking once. If you have a server with another provider you don't have to worry because Pine Hosting will provide personalized help to migrate your servers. If you want to start your own unturned servers or networks don't miss the link in the description below and be sure to use the code LDG for a huge 30% discount and let's get straight into the video. Right, so I hopped on Elvra. I have absolutely nothing, but I am not going to be alone. My team is in here. They've been playing for a while. They're going to invite me. I don't know what kind of base they have, but they probably have a massive fort as always. And they do need a bit of help. Apparently, there is a team which is glitching. And they have a glitch base and everything. And they're literally non-stop attacking my team. And we're gonna see what was gonna happen. They do have a glitch base. I have no idea how we're gonna raid them. I haven't heard of a glitch base in Unchained for years. But what we're gonna try to do today is probably just gonna try to PvP them as much as possible. Maybe make them literally leave the server. I'm gonna log off for a sec and change some stuff. I'm gonna change the in-game group. Alright, let's log back in. Alright, so I looted a little bit. Nothing crazy, but this is their base. Hello. We're gonna skip all over the looting part. I still need to get the keys and obviously, but I'm gonna check out. They have a lot of loot. But yeah, basically most of the people in here are my clan members. If you guys are interested in joining the clan and having a chance to play, it's a big group, building a big base, basically just dominating the server. I will have a link in the description below. It's a lot of fun. Usually I join when they need- yeah, they have a lot of raiding gear, damn. But yeah, usually I join when they need some help. There's another big group. I need to make a bed actually, I need to have myself a bed somewhere in here. There's people in Junction. Uh, there's actually multiple people, I think, and that gun sounds deadly at... Yeah, he's right over there. I hit him multiple times. Oh, that dude is dead. Yeah, there were two guys up there. Let's go check out. I think there's still another one, though. Yeah, we get there's somebody else sniping. I have no idea where he is. Oh, he's right here. Bro, how is he not dead? Bro, died. There we go. He's dead. Let's check out what loot he had. Oh, he had Mosca. All right. He had full thick. Got a thick backpack, finally. I'm not gonna wear a thick backpack, though. It literally covers my whole monitor. I don't only wear it where I actually need space. Let's kill these zombies, bro. All right, there we go. I'm gonna vault extra guns just in case we die, and I'm gonna need an extra gun later on or something. If we find there's more people up there, they're coming back. Either he got a spawn. Yeah, he's coming back. Oh, there he's right here. Oh my god, he's dead. He had a shotgun, basically. There's a few more guns here. Guns I don't even know what they are. Yeah, there's somebody bursting, too. There's another thick backpack. My teammate was gonna give me one, but it's alright, man. I just don't want to wear one. Alright, junction domination. So every single bunker on this server is also already taken over. Full crystal. So much layering going on as well. It's crazy. So we may try to raid a bunker at some point. We're definitely going to try to raid something today. Alright, he's dead. He killed like two of my teammates actually. There's so many dead people around. Yeah, there's a lot of loot. A lot of thick clothes. Full gear. Let me switch to Moscow back. I used a bit of cot. 
Alright, let's accept our teammate's CP so that he can get his loot back. There's somebody shooting, I think, that was my team, though. Crazy thing about Elver is most of the PvP actually happens at Junction. So every single time you get here, there's gonna be people 100%. Either if it's a solo, if it's a duo, it doesn't matter. There's gonna be somebody. Or somebody will come when you're in here. The dude dead. He had a... I don't even know what that is. Right, let me vote the cut. I don't actually want to lose that. It's a very strong weapon. There's a lot of shots going on again. Yeah, my teammate got him nice. Yeah, he got back. He had some stuff, too. Yeah, another gun, some ammo. Bro, so much junk. There's a base back here. It could be their base, imagine. I mean, they are coming back quite quickly. Oh, yeah, it's not even raided. It could be. I don't know if we should try to raid this. It's only wood, so it'll only take a few shots. And if it's their base and it's live, then we'll basically just get rid of them. Yeah, I think one of my teammates is actually gonna try to raid them. He may have vaulted some raiding gear. Or he's running around with raiding gear. He can have some good loot since it's next to Junction. He may have been killing a lot of mega zombies and farmed mesh or high cal. That could actually be profit. Yeah, he's gonna start raiding. I'm gonna cover him until then. Yeah, should break any moment. There we go, we're through. I'll destroy the bed. There's nobody in here though. Uh, pistols, some metal, some guns. Oh, there we go, mesh. I knew it. Mosca, that's nice. Some ammo. I mean, it's not really anything that good. I'm gonna wear the backpack now. And we're gonna take everything. Yeah, two tusks, nothing good. I mean, that mesh can be quite nice. It's an easy filter. Let me just put that in vault so that I don't lose it. Alright, I'm gonna just home and depot and give that to my team. Oh, there's a guy coming. Where the hell did he come from? He's dead. He came with a wisp. Okay, I'll try to make a play there. There's a dude right there. There we go, he's dead. Let's check out what loot he had. There's so many bodies again, man. He's coming back. Dead. And yeah, he just got a lucky spawn, I guess. There's somebody down here. He's right there. He's dead. He had that big pug, bro. I'm pretty sure. Let's kill the zombie. Yeah, he had a few guns. Big puck. Such a goofy gun. There's a dude there. Oh, he's dead. Oh, he had a rebel. Oh, I'll take that. Definitely an upgrade from the sauce. Where's oh, a bed there? Let's just destroy it. Yeah, it's claimed. Damn, it takes a lot of bullets. It's crazy. There you go, it's broken. Took a full mag almost. There's a dude there. He's dead. Check out what loot he had. I'm going back to Junction, but I don't think there's anyone else. Had a bunch of guns. He had two tusks. A bunch of ammo, a bunch of meds. Honestly, I'll take them. What I'm doing is I'm taking every single item that I find. And there's a few of us in base. And they're just like organizing whatever I drop them. I'm doing loot runs for them. Hopefully I don't lose their loot. But till now, not really. I'm giving them a lot of guns more than anything. Yeah, this is the base we raided. Still completely open, so if the owners were on, they probably would have sealed it off again or tried to build somewhere else. Alright, so we just found ourselves another actually small base wooden, and we're gonna try to raid. I really wanna find a live base, to be honest. I don't know if we should be using raiding gear on these type of bases rather than on a bunker, to be honest. I'm gonna give Sonic some cans. He's gonna need to scrap for a base. There's some shots going on over at... I'm pretty sure that's a junction, actually. I'm gonna try to see what what's happening over there. They raided. They're through, actually. I don't know if there's anything in there. Oh, it's completely empty. Wait, what? Yeah, let's raid then that part, actually. There may be the loot room in there. Hopefully. I really hope that there's actually something in there. There, I mean, the leather. We can get out now. It's probably gonna be loot behind the garage door, actually. He's raiding there. I'm gonna help him out a little bit. With the rebel. It should be very, very low, though. Come on, man. We gotta reload. We're through. And there's... Okay, we just literally wasted raiding gear. There's absolutely nothing in here. There's a dude there. Dead. It may have been the guy that was shooting before we did the raid, actually. Because it did sound from around this area. If he has a shotgun, it may be him. There's a mega zombie, too. Oh, yeah, he did have a shotgun. Alright, so I... Oh, yeah, my teammate's here. He just used the shotgun. This shotgun looks exactly like the one from Greece. Looks weird. 
Let's kill the zombies. I'm not really a fan of the more Elver gun mod pack, to be honest. Looks weird, in my opinion. Most of the guns, some of them are cool, like the clapper, but for example, this shotgun, I, I'm not a fan of it. Alright, so we just found ourselves um, this base. It's raided, but there's one locker, so we're just gonna see what's in it, maybe. I don't know, there's something good. If not, then it was worth the gamble, I guess. But let's hope there's something good. Broke and, uh, well, there's some cash, some circuit boards. Runic tablet cuts pretty nice, I guess. But other than that, nothing that good. Alright boys, so a lot of people did leave, so now we're actually going to spend the next few minutes doing hordes. We have multiple hordes, it's not gonna be one horde. And we're just gonna hopefully get some good loot. I mean, we probably will. We've brought turrets, we brought generators, and there's platforms in the sky. Odds are the server is gonna lag a little bit, because every time we do hordes on the server, it starts to lag. So I'm just gonna wait up here and wait for the turrets to do their job. I think he found the last zombie. Yep, it popped. I have no idea why the horde is up there. It's just raining loot. Right, at least we can see it. There's so much... Damn, that's actually a good horde. So much gunpowder. There's so much loot. Jesus, yeah, we just did like a Zerg horde in Alver. Crazy. Pretty good loot though. Really happy with it. We can literally raid so much with it. There's Meshta, that's pretty nice. So much Moscas. Yeah, my team, are, they're probably gonna take everything. And they'll just organize it in their massive base. Alright, so my team are still doing court, but me and another one, we're gonna do a raid this. I don't know if it's good, let's just hope it is. Obviously the metal is trying. The triangular part is metal, so that's probably where the core is. Meaning that the loot is gonna be all there. Now let's hope that there's actually something good, man. I really, really, really hope that. And it should break, yeah, there we go, we're through. Okay, well, large boxes. We gotta break the wall. Uh, they're literally in the walls, man. I don't know if we should raid the lockers first, actually. We could just raid one locker, see if there's anything good in it. But there's at least three large crates. We're gonna have to break the wall, man. Right, my teammate got a painting. All right, let's check out what this locker had. Come on, man, give me some good loot. Give me some juice. All right, broke and... Well, I mean, at least there's something. Some craftables. There's actually a lot more. There's just glitched into the lockers. I wish we could access these crates, but we can't, man. Oh, there's a dude. What? Bro, he can't... Alright, he's dead. He killed one. My team didn't even realize. There's another guy. Hit him. He's lasered. How is he not dead? Bro, we're getting countered. There's no way. It's a duo. Green skin. Alright, let me med up. We really need to try to seal off this base. And we can't even get out. I could try to make a lead there. Where the hell are they? Did he, did he ran away? Oh no, he's up there. My teammate saw him. Yeah, he's back there. I saw him. Bro, I'm gonna have to salvage a gun or something. Let me just put the heatwave back in vault. He jumped off again. He's dead. He's still up there. I'm gonna have to salvage the rebel, man. Screw, we have multiple rebels, but this is more important. I'll just make a ladder. Bro, I can't place it, man. Well, let's put it there. There's two of them here, yeah. What? He's not dead? He's dead now. Let's kill the other dude. There we go. Both dead. Alright, nice. I had locks, perfect. That's actually what I need. Yeah, thankfully that did not have any guns. Like any good guns. They probably would have just rushed in. Right, salvage this ladder. I'm gonna do a triangular roof. And they cannot counter us at all. Right, let's put it there. Oh my teammate ran through. Alright, and now we don't have to worry about counters. Subscribe Slim does game, yeah. You already know, man. Right, that could have gone very wrong, actually. Let's continue raid. Just finish this raid. Let's raid the wall. Let's see if there's anything good in the thick crates. It may take us a little bit, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Let's reload. Bro, how is it not broken yet? I put literally a whole box into it almost. And more. Alright, we're through. And it's empty. There's no way this is gonna be an empty raid, man. There's no way. Uh, we're gonna have to raid the other ones till... We cannot even go in. We can. Right, what if we put a ladder there and try to climb it? Yeah, it's not gonna work. Alright. Let's trade another part. Let's trade a locker. Locker had some loot. So maybe the lockers have better loot. Alright, we gotta reload once again. I'm gonna have to take another box from Vault. Here we go. Let's refill. Oh, broke. And ammo. 
Large box. That's pretty nice. Alright, let's raid this locker next. Broke and jackhammer. Grenade. Scope. More ammo. Bunch of bars. This trade isn't that good, man, by the looks of it. Nothing good in that one either. I'm out. Again. Get ourselves another box. Alright, that one broke. Oh, a lot of cans. That's actually pretty good. Fully decked out gun. Pretty sure that gun is also quite good for PvP. That's not too bad. Another one broke. Yep, they all broke. Drill. Alright. Hellcat. Drill's nice. All right, now we gotta raid these walls, bro. Let's hope there's something good, man. And we're through and... Oh, I can't access it, man. I wanna see what's in it. Oh, well, there's some stuff, at least. My teammates may have gotten something good and I wouldn't know. They took it in their inventory, but it looks like a bunch of ammo and a bunch of junk. A bunch of guns. And since we're a big group, guns are not really that bad. There's a third crate here, yep. Wait, is this the one that we opened? Oh yeah, it is. Well, this raid wasn't really that good, unfortunately. I mean, the cans are nice, the guns are nice, ammo is pretty nice too. Drill is also kind of epic, but this metal, we can definitely work with it for a base. So it could have been worse, but it definitely could have been better. There's a dude. How the hell is he not dead? Oh, there we go. It's literally one shot away. What? My guy has a full metal base on him. What? We're still getting shot at. I'm gonna die. Oh, I'm alive. Oh, there's a dude. Oh my god. How the hell? Oh, he had a pistol only. Oh, I'm dead. That was a very strong pistol. Alright, so I'm back in base depot. Most of the stuff I need to actually put much more. My teammates got so much raiding gear from those hordes when we were doing the raid. Look at that, they have so many gunpowder, that's crazy. This has to be like the richest Alver base I've ever been in. Oh yeah, I think I did a pretty good job in the one day, got my team quite a lot of loot. Killed a lot of people. I'm gonna give him the base parts I got from that one base raid. I mean, one, that one dude that I killed. Alright everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I really hope that you guys did enjoy. After that, I did give all of the loot that I gained from raiding, all of the raiding gear that I also still had in my vault, and I headed off for the day. That base did basically last, I think, the whole wipe. It was very epic to play on a server like this with a big group. So if you guys do want to see more in the future, let me know. Again, if you guys want to join the clan, I will also have a link in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!